Did you know that during the Civil War, Pennsylvania was home to a crucial event, the Battle of Gettysburg? Yes, that's right. A quaint town in Pennsylvania became the stage for an event that would change the course of American history. It was in Gettysburg in the heat of July 1863 that the most significant battle of the Civil War took place. This was no ordinary clash, it was a turning point, the moment when the tide of war shifted. The Battle of Gettysburg was the bloodiest battle of the Civil War, with casualties numbering in the tens of thousands. It was a three-day epic confrontation that tested the mettle of both the Union and Confederate armies. On one side, we had the Confederate Army, led by the brilliant and audacious General Robert E. Lee. Lee was a seasoned veteran with a string of victories under his belt. His audacity and tactical genius made him a formidable opponent. On the other side leading the Union forces was General George G. Meade. Meade, a Pennsylvanian himself, was a cautious yet determined leader. He was new to command, having taken the mantle just days before the battle, but he was not one to back down. The two armies clashed with brutal intensity. The fields of Gettysburg were transformed into a theater of war, filled with the sounds of cannon fire, the shouts of men, and the clashing of steel. The Union and Confederate forces fought with everything they had, each side determined to claim victory. But when the smoke cleared, it was the Union forces who stood victorious. Lee's invincible reputation was shattered, and the Confederates' hope for a swift victory in the North was dashed. The Battle of Gettysburg marked a turning point in the Civil War, a shift in momentum that would ultimately lead to the Union's victory. This battle was a defining moment in our history, a time when our nation was at its most divided. It's a stark reminder of the lengths to which we've gone in our struggle for principles we hold dear. We'll explore more about Pennsylvania's role in the Civil War in the next scene, so stay tuned. But the Battle of Gettysburg wasn't the only battle fought on Pennsylvania soil during the Civil War. Indeed, the Keystone State was the stage for several other significant combats. Let's now turn our attention to the Battle of Hanover. This skirmish, fought on June 30, 1863, was a prelude to the larger Battle of Gettysburg. Confederate cavalry under the command of Major General Jeb Stuart clashed with Union forces led by Brigadier General Judson Kilpatrick. The outcome? A tactical stalemate. However, it delayed Stuart's arrival at Gettysburg, a delay that would have significant implications for the larger battle to come. Moving on, let's visit the Battle of Carlisle. This fight took place on the same days as Gettysburg, from July 1st to 3rd, 1863. It was a diversionary effort by the Confederates, led by Brigadier General Albert G. Jenkins, to draw Union forces away from Gettysburg. The Union defense, commanded by Brigadier General William F. Smith, held firm. Carlisle was saved but not without cost. Lastly we'll journey to the Battle of Sporting Hill, the northernmost engagement of the Gettysburg Campaign. It was a brief but fierce fight on July 1, 1863. The Confederates led by Brigadier General John D. Imboden, were repelled by a Union militia under the command of Major General Darius N. Couch. Despite being outnumbered, the Union forces successfully defended Harrisburg from Confederate capture. These battles, though less famous than Gettysburg, were integral parts of the Civil War narrative. They demonstrated the strategic complexity of the war, the bravery of the men involved, and the high stakes for which they were fighting. The soil of Pennsylvania was stained with the blood of its sons, fighting for what they believed was right. From the rolling hills of Hanover to the streets of Carlisle, to the outskirts of Harrisburg at Sporting Hill, their sacrifices echo through the annals of history, reminding us of a time when the fate of a nation hung in the balance. The commanders of these battles were more than just military men, they were leaders, strategists, and sometimes, friends. Let's take a glimpse into their world. The commanding officers of the Civil War battles in Pennsylvania were a diverse group. Each brought their own unique strategies and leadership styles to the battlefield, shaping the course of events. Major General George G. Meade, for example, led the Union's Army of the Potomac. A Pennsylvanian by birth, Meade was a careful planner and strategic thinker. His cautious, defensive approach was instrumental in the Union's victory at the Battle of Gettysburg, one of the most significant battles of the Civil War. On the Confederate side, we find the audacious and charismatic General Robert E. Lee. His aggressive tactics and willingness to take risks were both his strength and his downfall. His decision to invade Pennsylvania resulted in the Battle of Gettysburg, a turning point in the war that ultimately led to the Confederacy's defeat. And then there was Brigadier General John Buford. A master of reconnaissance and an innovative commander, 
Buford's foresight and quick thinking played a crucial role in the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg. He recognized the strategic importance of the high ground and held his position against overwhelming odds until reinforcements arrived. These are just a few examples of the men who led their troops into battle. Each had a profound impact on the course of the Civil War. Their decisions, their strategies, and their leadership styles shaped the outcomes of the battles they fought. Their stories remind us that war is not just about tactics and firepower, it's also about the people who lead, who make the tough decisions, and who bear the weight of those decisions on their shoulders. The Civil War was shaped by these men, their courage, their flaws, their brilliance, and their determination. These men, their decisions, their actions, shaped the course of the Civil War. When the smoke cleared and the echoes of the cannons faded, Pennsylvania was forever changed. A hush had fallen over the once bustling streets and fields, replaced by a solemn silence that spoke volumes of the battles fought, lives lost, and sacrifices made. The Civil War had left deep imprints on the Keystone State affecting every aspect of life. The local population was significantly impacted, with many families mourning the loss of their loved ones. Every town, every village in Pennsylvania had a tale to tell, of fathers, sons and brothers, who never returned from the war. The war had torn families apart, leaving behind a trail of grief and despair. The economy too, bore the brunt of this horrific war. Pennsylvania, a state known for its thriving industries, was now struggling to regain its footing. Iron, steel, coal, and railroads, the pillars of Pennsylvania's economy, had been heavily disrupted. The once thriving factories were now reduced to silence, their chimneys no longer billowing with the promise of prosperity. The political landscape was not immune to the effects of the war. The war had not just fought on the battlefields, but also in the halls of power. The struggle between the ideologies of the North and the South had deeply divided the state's political scene. It was a time of uncertainty, of shifting alliances and changing loyalties. But amidst the rubble and the ruins, there was a glimmer of hope. The people of Pennsylvania, resilient and strong, began to rebuild their lives, their communities and their state. The factories started humming again, the fields began to blossom, and the political scene started to stabilize. The state of Pennsylvania, like the Phoenix, began to rise from the ashes of the Civil War. The war had changed the state, but it had also shaped its future, carving out a path of resilience, unity, and progress. Though the battles had ended, the scars of the Civil War remained, a reminder of a time when brother fought against brother. The Civil War left an indelible mark on Pennsylvania, a mark that can still be seen today. Its echoes reverberate through the state, in the form of monuments, memorials, and preserved battlegrounds. These solemn reminders pay tribute to the brave souls who fought on this soil, serving as testament to their courage and sacrifice. Gettysburg Battlefield, for instance, stands as a poignant reminder of the three-day battle that changed the course of the war. Its silent cannons and somber gravestones tell tales of valor and loss. Similarly, the Civil War Museum in Harrisburg offers a comprehensive insight into the state's significant role during this tumultuous period. These markers of history, scattered across the state serve as a constant reminder of Pennsylvania's pivotal role in the Civil War. They are the enduring legacy of a time that shaped not only Pennsylvania, but the entire nation. To see what happened in your state during the Civil War, click the playlist that's on your screen and thanks for watching.